Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary. Let me see if I could get a little more light going here. Well, it's kind of one-sided. Uh, my other light device is out of commission for some reason. But anyway, ugh, you don't realize how much you have until you take it all out of the cabinet and the drawers and the, you know, everywhere. <laughs> so I do have too much. I know this. Some of this I got from my daughter. Some of it I got from beauty boxes and this thing I bought on Hot Look, which I really like it. So anyway, I'm going to go over everything that I have here and Oh my gosh, I think I have to just dump this one out. So, there. So, this is a video for. No, no, no help today. No, I don't want your nose on all the nozzles. Um, but anyway, um, this is my collection of serums and facial oils. It's quite stunning. It really is. All right, I'm going to start with one that I've been really loving in this really low. It's already down to, whoops, um, here. You just can't see it because it was laying on its side. Well, maybe you can see a little bit. But anyway, my daughter had purchased this at Marshall's and she gave it to me. She thought I would enjoy it more and certainly she was correct. Um, I have been really enjoying the Spare Minerals Brilliant Future um, Age Defense and Renew Serum. So <laughs> I'm going to finish this and I honestly think that it's going to be done by the end of January because um, if I just use this solely then it won't be done, you know, it'll be done faster but um, I really should spread the love around. So anyway, this is not going anywhere. Okay, I have this oil from Julie Hewitt, um, and I got this on uh, Hot Look, and it's not hasn't gone bad yet. The thing, the nozzle's a little bit crooked, but it seals. Um, let me smell it just to make sure. Yeah, doesn't smell like anything, which is exactly what you want your skincare to smell like. Nothing. So anyway, I really do like this. It is camellia oil and camellia oil is really good for anti-aging. So I will be holding on to that. Um, this is from Derma E. Let me see what the expiration date is. Uh, Best Buy. Uh, Best Buy October 2020. Um, and this was part of a skincare thing that I'm, I am going to paste it. Uh, post an update for as soon as I try the peel, which I'm kind of afraid of. But anyway, um, this uh, Derma E Even Tone Brightening Serum, what I like about it is it's very non-irritating. It also does not have a strong scent, which unfortunately a lot of the Derma E products do have a strong scent, which I'm kind of, it's really causing me some problems with one particular product. Um, but I do really like this, but I don't know if it's doing anything yet. I would have to use it continuously to find out. So maybe we'll just hold on to that. Okay. Um, the big expensive elephant in the room is this, um, Good Genes all-in-one lactic acid treatment. I have used half of it. it. The smell is really bothering me. Um, but... My daughter put a little bit on uh, of her from her bottle on a pimple that I had and it went away like the next day it was gone. So I'm thinking this is probably pretty good stuff and I should use it. Okay, I think I have a little one of that that's not open yet. Yeah. So um, this I think is the new formula which smells slightly less obnoxious. Uh, my daughter thinks that it was reformulated a little bit perhaps, but anyway, I'll use this. Um, this little tube probably only comes up to about here, so that'll only be a couple times. 
Okay, this I keep on my vanity. This is argan oil from Physician's Formula, and I do use this um, sometimes a drop in my foundations, especially the ones that are a little heavy. I don't like to have them be all heavy, so um, you know I will definitely put that back on my vanity. I like it very much. This Biosance, I really should just use this. It's a tiny, teeny, tiny oil. It came in a, um, it's not expired yet. It came in a, um, what box was that? Um, one of the other beauty boxes, I can't remember. But anyway, um, this is something that I should really just use up because it's so small. So let me, I'm not going to open it because the seal hasn't actually been broken. So I'm not going to open it to smell it or anything. I'm just going to have to use that. Okay, my daughter gave me this Pixie um, Rose Oil Blend. Um, nothing agrees with her skin, really. So anyway, let me smell it. Make sure it's okay. Yeah, it's very, um, very mild scent of rose. Not real strong, but we'll see. She was not able to tolerate it. Um, and then she decided to just get rid of everything that wasn't within like her certain things that she loves so she gave it to me and i guess i'll give that a try another thing that my daughter gave me is this rose hip oil rose pure rose hip seed oil um she didn't like it and that's you know so i'll use this on my neck i think i have read that rose hip seed oil is good for your um skin so i'll use it in the neck area a lot of people use it on their neck Okay, next, this is, wow, this is down to a third. This is almost gone. Um, and this is CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. I combined this with the face cream and it seems to, I don't know, I, I can feel that it hurts a little bit <laughs> sometimes, um, the two things, but I think this is actually doing something. I just have to use... I, you know, in order to know, I have to use things continuously, and I have too many things to do that. So, um, I am going to work on finishing this, though, because the moisturizer is an open pot. I don't like the moisturizer. It's very heavy, but I use these two together because I figure it'll make it work better. So, we'll be keeping that. Um, this is May Coop. Let me see, what's the expiration? Oh, not until November 2020. Um, it's called Raw Activator, but it's something that you put on after your Makeup Raw Sauce, which I have and I use. Um, and I don't notice that this has a very strong smell, but I, guys, you know, I'm sure it does. So um, I think that I need to use it more. It's down to about here. So I've used down to like the letters. Um, my daughter had purchased it, used it once and didn't like it. So she gave it to me. So yeah, I'm not sure I would have purchased this, but um, I certainly will give it a try. Okay, and this is Lumine Urban Intense Hydrating Serum. I really like this. I like it a lot. I don't know if it's cruelty free or not. Um, at some one point it was. Um, but this is a really nice um, hydrating serum, and I really do like it. So I'll be keeping this. This is Lumine S-I-S-U, Urban Antioxidants, Dotis, whatever. It's in a different um, language. But anyway, it's a hydrating uh, serum. So I kind of like that. Okay, um, these are both Caudalie. I've never opened them. I've never used them. I think I might um, put them in swap. Oh, let me interrupt this video with how irritating swap can be. Yeah, maybe I won't bother. Um, lately, I've gotten a lot of no response. Um, and almost everyone that I have traded with hasn't shipped out their item until way after they get mine. So that's really irritating the ha hell out of me. You know, I have 100% positive um, 
responses, reviews, and I've traded over 89 times. It does get to be expensive because if you multiply that 89 by the typical cost of um, first class postage, which can be anywhere between like um, 250 and like $4, um, it, it's hardly worth it sometimes. So maybe I'll use these. Uh, these are Serum Perfect perfecter or whatever so maybe I'll give those a try I don't know I, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put these in the maybe okay this is from Selma Hayek and I only just recently opened it it's really really nice it's a, a smooth and firm elixir does anybody else miss um, Selma Hayek's nuance brand I don't know who um, canceled it whether it was her canceling or CVS canceling but her products are no longer in CVS and they were developed in partnership with CVS so I think that's one of the reasons that we're not seeing these anymore um, because she just you know had a contract with CVS and now it's over I guess but I really like this um, I'm not gonna be able to buy it again because it's no longer anywhere to be found um, so I'm gonna finish that that might be the next one that I concentrate on the most. Okay, I have this and I'm not going to part with it. It's T-Zone Refining Serum. From You can't buy it anymore. I think it, and there's no expiration date on here. No. Um, I think, given the, how smooth it leaves your skin, it must be an AHA or something. Let's see what it says on the back. Um... Well, I, it would be on the box, all the ingredients, and they're not here. It's not on the bottle, so I'll just have to do a little further research. Did you want to write to me or add and say, why did you take this away? Because this is my second bottle of T-Zone, and then right after I bought it, they stopped producing it, and I don't understand. So anyway, this is not going anywhere. This is something that I am going to use up. It's about a third done already, so... I'm going to keep that. Okay, now, let's move that back. I'm trying to make room in that thing. This is very nice. It's by Paula's Choice, and it's Skin Recovery Super Antioxidant Serum. It is not expired yet, and it smells fine, and this is one of my favorite things, so I'll be holding on to this. only problem I have is it tips over all the time. <laughs> I got this Evolu Hydrating Serum. It feels like it's half full, but I did get it from um, my Ipsy bag, and it has no real scent, but there are people who are writing in their reviews that it smells like feet. If your product smells like feet, it's it's gone south. So... Those people got bad bottles, and they may want to write to Ipsy and say, how dare you send me something that was expired? Um, because this smells like nothing. It just, like, it, that, which is what you want your skincare to smell like. Nothing. So, anyway, I um, haven't tried it yet. I have smelled it. Like, as soon as I got it, I smelled it because all the people are saying, oh, no, it smells like feet. Um, I knew I'd be getting rid of it if it smelled like feet, but it doesn't. It smells fine. So um, I am going to have to start using this. They do recommend refrigeration, but um, let's see. Keep refrigerated for best results. I, I don't want to employ an entire beauty fridge just for having something like this. I have a little refrigerator, but my daughter really wants it, and so I'm going to give it to her. So I'll use this as long as it doesn't develop a smell um, and actually have to make that part of my daily routine. So I will hold on to that. And it, honestly, it smells like nothing. Okay, this I keep in my medicine cabinet because I love it so much, and this is Hey Honey Good Medicine, Good Morning Honey Silk facial serum, all day nourishing, all skin types. Um, this expires in 2021. I like that there's an expiration date. I love this stuff. 
So I use this every chance I get. I absolutely love this stuff. This actually feels really good on. So I obviously I'm gonna hold on to that. Now another facial oil that I have is multiple vitamin infusion oil. This I keep in the medicine cabinet with my um, Hey Honey because I use them in conjunction with each other. I, I got both of these in a Ipsy box. I think it was my first one. I got the Hey Honey and the Murad and I was, I was sold while well, I just quit Ipsy. I can't have everything. So anyway, um, like I said, this is a collection video, not a, a declutter, but I do have one item that I am decluttering and that is this um, Good Medicine Honeydew. Now this has an expiration date on it and it's well past. Um, it still smells fine, it still looks fine, but honestly it's, it's like two years past. So this expired in 2018 and I have to let it go. Um, it just, I can't give it to anybody either. It, it just has to go. So that is going in the reject pile. Now my daughter just gave me this Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. I think it's a serum, but I can't figure it out exactly. It's not really thick enough to be a moisturizer, so it might just be another serum from Bare Minerals. Given the fact that I love the other one, that brilliant future one from Bare Minerals. I um, did take this. She offered it to me and I did take it and I am looking forward to you using this. Okay, this is Derma E Brilliant Glow. Unfortunately, like many people on the internet, one in particular that I watch, the um, shimmer has, unless you shake it up, it it settles um, and mine now is I shook it up so now it's suspended again um, but honestly the shimmer doesn't it doesn't leave anything on your skin that looks like shimmer so I really like this it feels good it smells fine it doesn't smell have any strong smell or anything and I personally love this one so I'll definitely be keeping that and happy birthday to me. My daughter gave me this Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum, which I have to start using immediately. Um, in fact, I will put it in the cabinet with the Hey Honey and the Murad. Maybe, maybe I should use the beauty fridge. Uh, it's not actually a beauty fridge. It's just a little refrigerator. Um, but yeah, I have to start using this. This is um, two ounces and a Rich Moist Soothing Serum. Um, it has, <clears throat> excuse me, moisturizing, soothing care. I think it's got, what's it got in it? Lots of, um, oh, it's all oriental writing on the back, so I can't really read that. Um, I, I know that I've read lots of reviews. It does say, oh, it's got some English on this side. I think it's got peptides and stuff, and I'm not sure. Um, I'll see if I can find that information, but I will start using that. The reason that a moisturizer is here with the serums is because this Belif um, True Cream Aqua Balm is not heavy enough for my skin. I do have, I guess, normal to dry skin. I love the way it feels though, and so a lot of times I use it as a serum instead of as a moisturizer, so that will stay with my serums. And then I have some of these, not much, but some of these um, Elizabeth Arden capsules left. I don't have a lot. I should really just work my way through these and finish them so that they're done. Um, this was some kind of a sample pack and these, um, I love these. The oil is like super smooth and feels delightful, but it's not cruelty free. Oh, I'm sorry, Elizabeth Arden. You need to go cruelty free somehow. So anyway, um, I am going to continue to use those. And of course, I won't be buying them in the future. And I have this number seven protect and perfect advanced. Um, it's a serum. It says serum right underneath advanced, but you can't really see it. I've never opened this and there is no expiration date. I don't want to crack the seal on it until I'm ready to use it. And that's when I'll find out whether it's shot or not. But anyway, 
Um, I am looking forward to using that. I've heard good things about that. And this is Botanics. There's no expiration date on this either. I would love it if there was one, but I have never used it. And so I'm going to hope that it is not going bad. But anyway, it's Botanics Super Serum Age Defense. And I'm looking forward to actually using this. And finally, the last thing is this Pure Lease Blue Lotus Brightening Serum. I haven't even taken this out of the box yet. So um, I just got this recently in an Ipsy box. I have so much to go through. So anyway, this is garbage. This is decluttered. So I, I guess I decluttered one. Um, I'll just use these because these typically don't have enough in them to bother to trade. So I will put them in there and use them. Um, yeah, I can't fit them in there now. Um, so, you know, I'll use those. So I've decluttered one. Now let me count. I'm going to count these two as one since they're two tiny ones. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28 serums that I'm keeping. Oh my God. But a lot of them are in the end stages. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Let me move my stuff over before the camera dies. Um, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day. Whoops. Let's get the camera on to the stuff. <laughs> I appreciate you taking the time out of your day and, um, Let's get rid of this thing right away. I do love serum. Serum is a step that I always do. So I love serum. So anyway, I'm going to be trying to catch up and get you guys 25 um, episodes of Vlogmas. And, you know, so I'll be back soon. Uh, anything that I open that start doesn't smell right, I will put in my declutter box. I keep a box full of stuff that I then share with you guys later. Like if I go to put a lipstick on and it doesn't smell right, I throw it in the box. If I go to use a nail polish and it's all lumpy, I put it in the box. Okay, so what I was saying when the battery cut out was um, that uh, I paid for all this myself or got it from my daughter or got it in a beauty box. One of the reasons that I canceled Ipsy is because I just can't handle any more beauty products. Um, I love the Ipsy box. If you're like starting your collection and you don't have very much, I highly recommend that you join the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Uh, it's actually way better now than BoxyCharm. So um, it's $25 plus if your state, like New Jersey, uh, requires tax, um, even, no matter where it's shipped from. <laughs> yeah, New Jersey's getting their hand in, in everybody's pocket. But anyway, um, you would have applicable tax added to that. I love the box. I will miss the box, but I will not be able to get through all this in my lifetime. So... Um, we'll see what happens. So anyway, this is just serums. One of the moisturizers that's included is because it's so thin that it really needs to be a serum. So I'm going to be doing uh, moisturizers next and then after moisturizers, I believe that I will be moving on to makeup. Heaven help me. Uh, <laughs> you guys have seen the makeup drawers. So anyway, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up really does help me. There is somebody who keeps going around giving me thumbs down on everything. I don't, I doubt they even watch, but there's somebody who, every video, they come along and they give me a thumbs down. <laughs> they missed a couple, so you got to catch up, dude, whoever you are. Anyway, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help me. If you aren't subscribed, please do subscribe. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun here on this channel. And um, thank you again and have a beautiful evening. Good night.